My favorite amp that I currently own is the Angle Powerball 2. So when Two Notes reached out to me and said they had a new Angle Dynair pack, I thought what a great opportunity to check out the new Angle Hydra um, with my Angle Powerball 2. So right after I make an insurance claim, we're gonna check out some tones and see what it's all about. Why don't you join me? Why am I not wet? Oh, there we go. I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed lonely rocker. Thanks for joining me today. I'm also the self-proclaimed lover of everything Angle, so really excited to dive into this cab pack from Two Notes. There's actually five official captures in the Hydra collection, so we're gonna take a look at the specs of each one. And first up is the E112 Hydra. If you're not familiar with Two Notes, all of the Dyn IR cab packs work with their proprietary plugin, Wall of Sound. This gives you three-dimensional access and lifelike manipulation of your cab IRs. I recorded my Angle Powerball 2 direct through a Two Notes Torpedo Capture X and applied all Dyn IRs with Wall of Sound in my DAW. The E112 Hydra is modeled after an Angle E112 VB cab with one Electrovoice EVM12L speaker. I paired this with the clean channel on the Powerball 2 and the middle position on my Schecter C1 SLS Elite with Fishman Fluence Modern Pickups. The E112 Hydra delivered great clarity and snappiness for the muted clean tone in the intro of the track. Next up, we've got the E212 VB. This cab houses two Electrovoice EVM12L speakers in a vertical slant cab configuration. I found this cabinet to have a bit more bottom end compared to the horizontal version in this pack, but still delivered good bottom end definition, overall clarity and tightness that paired nicely with my Schecter and the Fishman Fluence Modern Bridge Pickup using the passive voicing into the crunch channel on the Powerball 2. Now let's take a look at the E212 VHB. Similar to the E212 VB, but in a horizontal configuration, I found this cab to have a bit of a tighter bottom end and a little more top end definition that worked well for the guitar solo. Again, using my Schecter, this time using the modern voicing in the bridge pickup into the high gain channel four on the Powerball 2.
Now let's dive into the 412s. We've got two of them, starting with the E412 Hydra. The first of the two 4x12s in this pack houses four EVM12L speakers in this big and bold cabinet. Though this definitely has a tighter bottom end than the larger 4x12 in this pack, and also has a nice mid focus. This served the chugging section really well. This time I used my Les Paul Studio with a Seymour Duncan Nazgo pickup in the bridge position into the high gain channel 3 on the Powerball 2. And the big boy in this collection is the E412 XXL Hydra. And the granddaddy in this pack. The oversized cabinet is taller and a bit deeper than the E412 and puts out more speaker volume, delivering a high bottom end and tighter mids. This worked really well with the dark rhythmical section played on my Les Paul Studio and Nazgul Bridge pickup into the high gain channel 4 on the Powerball 2. While the differences of each cab may be subtle, and Wall of Sound provides endless ways to tweak what your speaker choice delivers, these cabs will respond differently depending on your choice of amp, guitar, pickups, playing style, and especially the virtual microphone. But let's listen to the nuances of each cabinet. Well, there you have Angle Hydra from Two Notes. What a great collection it is. Uh, Two Notes knocking it out of the park again. If you are a fan of all things Angle, definitely worth checking it out. So I will put a link in the description. If you've already grabbed it, or if you have any thoughts, any comments, any questions, perhaps you have any other favorites uh, in the collection that Two Notes has to offer, I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I've got another one waiting for you right here. If you really want to support the channel, check the description. I've got all sorts of affiliate links on my Patreon if you want to do a deeper dive with me. And I've got Lonely Rocker merch. It's all in the description. It all helps and I appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you again in a, another video.